Hello YouTube! Welcome to another video. Some weeks ago we uploaded a video with the title 10 minutes boom carving challenge. And after some feedbacks and some comments from you, we realized that we focused too much on time and actually we forgot to explain how the technique to make the concave side of the spoon really works. And in this video, I would like to explain you this technique exactly. After grinding this flat, I draw in the shape of the concave hollow. For that, I draw a snowman and now I connect these two circles with a curve Now I have the shape of the concave part of the spoon. Open the small blade and hold it like a pencil, like this. Take with the other hand the stick and fix it on the table. And now you can start to make many cuts and try to stay in the line where the hollow is deeper make some cuts with a little bit more pressure now make cuts in another direction And again, don't cut over the lines. Try to stay with your hand always on the table. Because this is safe and this is not safe. And like this, you have much more control that you don't cut over the lines. Until now, we made cuts in two directions, this direction and in this direction. And now I make, I make vertical cuts, like this. After a while, alternate the direction of your cut. From left to right, from right to left, vertical, horizontal, and also change the position of your spoon and start again. When the texture of the wood starts to scramble, like here, take your can opener and scratch out with the curved part the scrambles. Repeat this process with cutting and scratching out until you reach the desired deepness of the, of the spoon. I repeated the process twice and now the bottom is deep enough. Don't make this concave part too deep because a spoon 
is only comfortable for E when you can touch with your lip the bottom of your spoon. Otherwise, it's not eating, otherwise, it's slurping. That you don't damage the surface by scratching out the crumbles, try to scratch with the round part and not with the, with the screwdriver. Now the surface is a, is a little bit rough, so you can let it be like it is, it works, or you take, you take sandpaper for make it smooth, or take a stone and sand it. This is the result after two minutes grinding with the stone. Now you have to carve the rest and your spoon is ready. Do you want to learn other tricks with the Swiss Army knife? So check my playlist and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Ciao!